Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now March 18th of 2024, and given that all divisions over at the Walt Disney Company are going through numerous challenges right now, not just due to Bob Iger's cost containment plan, aka his cost cutting measures that are wreaking havoc on divisions like Lucasfilm, Marvel Studios, Walt Disney Animation, of course, and that's just the very tip of the iceberg. We have a lot of things coming from Bob Iger, such as cancellations of projects related to Marvel Studios and even Lucasfilm that we'll discuss further of course throughout this week. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about Bob Iger that I think that we all know right now is the fact that he is a liar. That's why we all call him Bob Liger. He is one that will string along both the shareholders and the customers into the following year making all these false promises and lies about the lineup of films and movies slash TV shows, etc, etc. However, what's interesting about all of this has a lot to do with the whole Joy Behar situation with Deadpool 3 and Ryan Reynolds and exactly what's going on with that and why it's worsening and how it's really creating a big impact on Bob Iger's overall focus. So let's get into all of this, shall we? Now, specifically, we already know that Deadpool 3 has been going through some challenges as well. We have director Sean Levy, writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, along with Reynolds, fighting the Disney heads to prevent the upcoming reshoots for Deadpool 3 to insert DEI. Now, this is not to say that they are trying to prevent reshoots in general. They want reshoots, but they don't want DEI elements getting spilled into them. So that's the ongoing fight. However, on top of all of that, with Bob Iger desperately attempting to save all divisions at the Walt Disney Company right now, one major development has much to do with the drama surrounding Deadpool 3 and Ryan Reynolds. Now, one crucial update to the entire situation is that Joy Behar recently created a huge shakeup over at the Walt Disney Company after Ryan Reynolds decided to refuse to promote Deadpool 3 on The View for ABC. As it turns out, of course, one Be Joy Behar already confronted Reynolds about the divide after Ryan also convinced Hugh Jackman to not go on The View to promote the film since she wanted to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion for Deadpool 3. Already, Behar is demanding to Bob Iger to create some form of consequence against Ryan Reynolds after he stepped down from appearing on The View. The argument that recently happened behind the scenes is that Behar is now pointing the finger at Ryan that he is not a supporter of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and should not be associated with Disney anymore moving onwards after the third Deadpool film. What's surprising is that Behar is already giving her, or giving Iger a warning, that she is willing to use the drama as a talking point for The View and to discuss what's been going on behind the scenes by next month to address why Reynolds is not going to appear on the show in June, just ahead of the release of the film in July. Now, to make matters even worse in this entire situation is that Behar is already giving Ryan Reynolds and his agent a couple of warnings about the about the overall movement that they made of going off the show and preventing themselves from going on live television to, of course, not promote DEI and how she's putting full blame on them for that. These warnings reportedly have to do with planned call-outs and public conversations of the show about why Reynolds, of course, decided to drop out of The View. The drama gets even uglier now since Bob Iger and the Disney higher-ups now want to punish Ryan Reynolds in some way due to Joy Behar speaking up since she believed, as well as Bob Iger did, that Reynolds' appearance on The View would enhance their ratings for the entire month of July to bring them on the right path for the remainder of 2024. Now, Behar is also warning Disney that she is already preparing to make a serious statement about the Ryan Reynolds drama with how he refused to promote DEI on The View for his film. In turn, this is already creating a shakeup between board members that are both in support of Bob Iger and against him, now, of course, based on his actions with reshoots for the third Deadpool film to include DEI into the third act. Already, Behar is claiming that Reynolds performed a sabotage move against The View's ratings and is putting full blame on the actor 
for preventing the ratings to skyrocket in June, as she claims. The drama between Behar, The View, and Ryan has been so large, it has been rattling throughout nearly all divisions of the Walt Disney Company, that Bob Iger is beginning to act quickly on the situation to find some form of a resolution, leaving him frazzled on how, of course, on who to cater to in this entire scenario, since consequences will come with his decisions. Now guys, let me just stop here real quick before I move on. Now again, prime example once again that Bob Iger has got no clue what he's doing here. Uh, I think that he doesn't really realize exactly what kind of situation he's in. It sounds like he doesn't want to cater to one side or the other because he knows that ramifications regardless are going to come across with all of that. Now look, the right thing to do is to really just drop your move for DEI getting thrown into the reshoot to Deadpool 3. Let Ryan, Sean, Paul, and Rhett do what they want to do at full force for this movie to make it 100% effective. Not a movie where it has ups and downs. Make it a constant above, you know, shooting for the stars film where it's going to be one of those big hits for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Again, I think that what you're going to get as an end result, if Disney gets their way with throwing DEI elements into the third act, you're going to have parts of this movie that are going to be good, parts that are going to be very bad, and it's not going to be a consistent movie, hence making it kind of a forgettable film in the process. If you make it very good from start to finish, it'll be very memorable. Now, moving onwards, Joy is also, of course, has also lost more cast members from appearing on The View after Ryan convinced Hugh Jackman to step down. This includes some of the creators, like director Sean Levy, who will no longer be appearing on the show as well, and she too is putting full blame on Ryan as well for that recently. Bob Iger is attempting to remedy this situation after the short hiatus for The View that came back in January of this year. So yeah, uh, guys, I don't know if you knew that, but The View was on a hiatus for a while, from the tail end of 2023 until January of this year. That's why some of you thought the show was canceled and that's why you saw some reruns if you were flipping through television. Uh, that's why they were on a small hiatus for obvious reasons and they wanted to go through a lot of change to kind of find a way to reformat that show and other reasons as well, the factors went into that. But interestingly enough, you have Behar really playing the victim card here like she is basically the one that's gonna get the biggest impact out of all this drama when in reality who watches the view no sane person watches the view anymore or ever really did you know i mean there were times where people used to tune into it here and there but for the most part this show has been plagued with the you know, ludicrous thoughts of Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, etc, etc. And I don't really know how they believe in themselves that putting Ryan Reynolds on the show, or even Hugh Jackman and Sean Levy, the director, would skyrocket their ratings for the month of June to kind of create this reset for the summer, if you will. I don't see how that would even be possible. Maybe for one day your ratings will skyrocket, but the moment they're off the show, that's it. It's over. So overall, guys, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.